talking about the washers? Uh, no, like the spark plug, like these covers, these beauty covers uh -huh. that cover the spark plug and the coils. Yeah. I keep those on my 525 specifically yeah. because of that. Just in case, because I've had water literally leak on them. I've, I've, there's like halfway full of water, the whole spark plug too. Just let that. Yup. Let's see if there's any oil in there. Hold oh, though. These things are, these valve covers are like a hundred bucks. Yeah. Oh, these coils, they, they could be original too, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I got my Doesn't seem like there's much oil in there. <laughs> but it could just be a failing ignition coil, so we just gotta we'll swap the coils. Okay. Swap it with one cylinder one. Normal nine to five or more job and probably take some overtime. I don't even know where the f it is. Vlad, you're replacing it. The mass airflow sensor. <laughs> I'll give you some mass. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. oh, yeah, where is that? <laughs> Sir, you got a hole here. Yeah. Where did that come from right here? Magic Vitovich touch. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> I messed it up. I wish my cock was oh, I'll remind him forever for I don't that. know where that goes. That's not long enough to No, it goes there. there. Did it. I thought Vlad was supposed to do this job. I don't know where the f*** it goes. But I will learn in this moment. What do you mean? It's, it goes right here. Yeah, it's just two, like, two things to unhook. Yeah, chmuff, chmuff. See, this is the sensor. The plug's right here. Though. Yeah, and this is the power steering reservoir. Oh, yeah. you didn't take out the mass airflow sensor. No, oh, I unplugged. This is the plug. Oh, okay. Now you have to take the whole engine out to replace the mass airflow sensor, actually. Nice. Yeah. Very simple. Only on Wednesdays. Club going up on a Tuesday. Doesn't look bad. Yeah. It just looks like cheap, like that one yeah. that we almost. It looks exactly like the one in the yeah. box. Yeah. I haven't had a bad experience here with these parts, so. You know what I mean? Whatever. I want my instant gratification. So someone definitely swapped and returned the old one. Wait, what is that? Let me see. Oh, take it out. Take it out. Oh, I was like, what's this red thing? <laughs> like That's a, crazy. That's added thing. That. I never knew that was a thing on these cars. No, they just I some. It was that. some some kind but of it's mod. factory. No, it's factory. Is it? Yeah, it's factory. Look at the molding marks. That's crazy. Yakubovic. That's weird. <laughs> Bark, 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 b
Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Should I push put it on the? Pin? I'm gonna put it on the bottom of this. Yeah. And then. Got the this. sandal. This looking pretty good now. Yeah, this was all rusty, especially yeah. in the bottom. That big ass dude that day convinced me I need an E36 for sure now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if you that can day you can I love those, but the, the day I saw that guy drive it like that, I realized it is a car for big too. Bro, I think Leo convinced E36. Him. Yeah, that's what he said. 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 Yeah, we had to clean all these fuses and everything because there, there was a lot of water and corrosion actually. Just started having this issue after it rained. So. You want to check the Benson bill? Go for what? I don't care. Let's I mean, check there. he wants to go to bed. You're holding the key too yeah, long, man. Vlad. You hear that? You don't want it that. As soon as it starts, Dude, you time, release. That I wasn't even putting it. You did it all three times. Well, not that. Steve did that. It's okay. She's running, though. The, That's good. Uh, on my car. Well, if you hold the key, it keeps turning the starter. You know, I do what I do on my car. I don't know what you're arguing. We're just trying to tell you, bro. I feel like I'm arguing at the moment. Nice car. Nice car, man. <laughs> sharp. Oh, you got the diffuser on and everything. Nice. Beauty. All right, guys. So this is the car that Leo saved a couple days ago. The uh, person who was selling it was trying to scrap this amazing machine. They actually drove it from Pennsylvania to Chicago about two years ago. And then two years, for two years, this car sat and everything. So Leo came. He, there was a flat tire and all that. And the... Uh, he got the car running, drove it around and purchased it. It needed the alternator. So we installed a new alternator on it, did a bunch of other stuff. And then a couple days uh, later, like this car started have, having issue with crank no start, intermittent crank no start. And uh, we were like scratching our heads. We scanned the, the codes. We actually like ended up replacing all the all two camshaft sensors and one crankshaft sensor. And I already knew it didn't fix the problem, but I mean, still the, the car has those three sensors, new sensors right now, which is a good preventive maintenance. But then the car still had like intermittent crank, no start. And then we, we actually scanned the car. What we found out is it had a, uh, in the engine control module, it had 80 uh, EWS transmission parity code, which told me that something is wrong either with the key or something else. You only had came with one key and all that. So then we tore up that side right here where there's uh, a bunch of stuff, uh, basically all the junction uh, and uh, you know, uh, and all the cables are right here. There was some water because it rained, and then everything. The problem started right after it rained, which is weird. But then we took it out, took the all the cables out, sanded everything, cleaned out all the corrosion and everything. That still didn't fix the problem. So then the next day, what we ended up doing is we ended up getting the. Uh, we uh, called our buddy. Uh, he does the keys to a bunch of cars. He's a locksmith, so. He came, he uh, programmed two new keys and uh, to this car and literally that fixed the problem. We don't have any more issues with uh, crank no start. It always starts up and everything. We're gonna show you in a little bit. But yeah, so happy. It was really frustrating, but it's back to life. All right, we're about to show you. So we got three or two brand new keys and the one is the old school one right there, probably original to this car. And uh, yeah, so this car has three keys right now. We're about to show you how it starts and everything. There's no more issues with crank no start i know usually ews issues have where it's basically no crank no start but sometimes it will crank and it will not start intermittently so that can be a problem with the key first you have to scan the car and when we scanned it has a, it had that 80 ews transmission parity code and yeah let's try to start it okay runs everything and uh yeah when that issue was happening it was literally it was it would uh if you start the car it actually was not uh dying or anything it just when you shut it off you try to restart it it would just crank and not start but yeah let's go ahead and do it a couple times we can try different keys too and uh yeah yeah no more issues yeah there you go so yeah, if you guys have the same problem with uh, intermittent or no crank, no start where there's like no injector pulse and no spark, 
the and you have the ews code you have to run after that it might need a new key programmed um yeah in this case we got really lucky and we programmed two new keys and we have three keys in total now and listen to the computer yeah. of the car these these newer gen bmws are pretty straightforward on what's wrong you know if there's yeah. a camshaft sensor code it's going to be a camshaft sensor yeah you know that's what i've noticed specifically with working on these so Get a scan yeah. tool, a good one, and you'll be able to figure out stuff yep. a lot easier. And Leo is amazing. He uh, restores and saves old school uh, BMWs, mainly the E34s are right there. We're going to take care of that car soon. And uh, yeah, follow him on Instagram as well. It's going to be in the description up here. So Leo yeah. E34 life. Hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, this looks so nice from this angle, dude. Look. I know, this is the best. Thing.